Welcome back heroes to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy The Duelist Link Evolution. Last episode we began at Battle City, started defeating some rare hunters, winning some uh, locator cards and some rare cards as well. And now we're going to be doing one of the coolest duels, which um, fortunately in the actual TCG the um, the effects are a little bit different because in the anime this dude's um, Slifer deck, the slime deck, was uh, a little bit broken. So Marek was in possession of two of the three Egyptian god cards. But he still needed the Millennium Puzzle to bring his plan together. Suddenly, Yuki found himself being challenged by a duelist named Strings. I, I got scared of this guy when I was watching him when I was a kid. It just seemed very creepy, dude. <laughs> Yugi, prepare to duel and lose your puzzle. Marek, meet my mind slave. Strings, the quiet one. Thanks to the power of my Millennium Rod, he shall defeat you. Coward! Why should I waste my time when I can duel you through my mind puppets? Battling with the power of my Millennium Rod is no different than you using your puzzle to duel. That's not true. You force your servants to do your dirty work by taking control of their minds against their will. I do with respect and honor. Merrick, make your move. All right, let's do this, man. I wonder what his deck's gonna be like, um, you know, because the effects are a bit different. It's gotta be a little bit more balanced. Part of me kind of wishes, just for, um, you know, story mode in this game, they they make the, the, the cards the same effects as the anime. I'm a bit broken. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, it has been never ending. But, ah, oh, dude. Got hand destruction, sword of revealing light. Robin Zombie. Okay. Each time one was on your side of the field, inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points. Your opponent sends one card from the top of their deck to the graveyard. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? I think we're going to try and make him deck out, it looks like, from our hand. Right, so. Uh, both players discard as many cards as possible from their hand, and each player draws five cards. So if I just um, set this, activate swords. Wait, yeah. Okay, set swords again. Set this dude, and then we set this, and then we end our turn. All right, <laughs> about to draw a load of cards, man. It's gonna be good. Right, should we activate this? Uh, probably not yet. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. And he's gonna try and attack us, which is good. Do it, boy. Do it. Oh, he's not gonna attack. Oh, he can't attack with swords. Oops, my bad. <laughs> All right. Oh, a dumb magician. Um. Right. So I am going to flip Morphin Jar. Alright. Oh, he's got a Slifer. If we can draw Monster Reborn, that'd be sick. Alright, uh, Grixel Charity. I remember Magic Cylinder, right? Before I quit the game in 2014, um, I, I actually just, I sided in Magic Cylinder a few times like, in, my, in my locals because no one expected it. And I beat someone, he didn't want to go like attack for 3,000 like Magic Cylinder. He was so salty, he was like, really? You're going to beat me Magic Cylinder? I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's so good. Oh man, okay, we need to get rid of, I'm going to get rid of the swords. And I'm going to get rid of... Spell Sharon Arrow. Then I'm going to activate Hand Destruction. Right, send that. I think Spellbind and Circle. Right, nice. Uh, next I'm going to summon Dark Magician Girl. Is Card Destruction, yeah, you, you draw the same number of cards you discard, isn't it? So probably don't want to activate that just yet. Uh, let's activate this. I'm gonna set magic cylinder for later. And I think with that we will uh, battle phase. Hey. 
Another Slifer gone. <laughs> Got a two Slifer. He's got two Slifers in his deck. What? Boy! <laughs> Not cool. Alright. Ascend. Uh, if we try and make him deck out, I'm trying to think. Like, if we just... Card... Uh, no. I don't know what... Because uh... he's got six cards in hand, we can... Oh, seven. We might easily be able to make him deck out. It's going to be a little bit hard now if he keeps setting cards. Okay. Right. Uh, what do I want to do? I am going to summon Beta, the Magnet Warrior. Like, ah, oh, I, I, I said this before, I really like miss these cards. I really hope they do come and speed duel them. I remember I had, um, I had a... All four of them, obviously, the three of them, the, the, I say fusion, but I like, you know the, the one Valk Valkyrion? No. Valkyrie something. Anyway, I remember I had like the, the cool, like, was it Parallel Rare? The cool one you got at the video games. I think you got it from like, the GBA World Championship games, which I think, yeah, 2002 I think it was. It was like one of my favorite games. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh games. Right, uh... Draw again, what we got? Dust Tornado. That's fine. But I'm just gonna activate this. And still a little bit more for some more um more cards in hand. Right, so we keep waiting. He probably gets Slifer now. If he draws another one. Got the monsters to tribute. I might just stall until End of Swords. Mirror Force, nice. Alright, definitely send that. Like, I just want to get enough. Him to have enough cards in his hand that I can card destruction, card destruction, hand destruction. With me not wasting too many cards in my deck. Brain control, nice. Alright, I'm gonna save that. Almost there, dude. Alright, now he's got a full field. This is fine, this is great. Feral imp. Uh, right, now I'm gonna activate hand destruction. Over two cards you are saving, mate, and now gone. Two polys. <laughs> okay. Uh, Want to save this, so I am going to just end my turn. Next turn. Next turn is the turn we do a lot of things, I hope. I think Yugi beats him by decking out, so I want to try and beat him by decking him out. Uh, you can take... Mm. No, I'm going to let Magnet Warrior die. It's fine. I just going to have some outs just in case he does get Slifer out, because it could be bad. If I can get Monster Reborn, I can get my own Slifer. <laughs> Alright. Activate this. Send these two. Yes! Here we go, boy! Monster. I think you can Monster Reborn Slifer. I'd have to summon it first. Nope, we can just Monster Reborn it. <laughs> yes! Let's go! Slifer the Sky Dragon. And battle phase. He's probably going to end up killing Slifer, but. Gotta go for it. Can I not attack this? Uh, While well, they control any spell trap cards. Oh, okay, that kind of sucks. I'm surprised Slifer didn't have like an animation for coming out. Kind of sucks. Wait, what? 
when at normal summon, okay. If any monster is normal to your opponent's field. And once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summon, it's sent to the graveyard. Oh, okay. So you can keep it for a turn. That's that seems balanced. I'm okay with that. Uh Right. We We'll wait one more turn. I'm gonna get him to deck out. It's gonna be fine. Right, so if we actually wait one more turn, I think we got this. Right, so yeah. Next next turn, we have enough cards and we can deck them out. I think. Right. Let's try and win this. Gotta make sure we don't deck ourselves out as well. Right, so if we brain control this dude. And tribute for this. We can't activate, can we? Might have to wait till next turn, but activate this. Need as little cards in hand as possible. Destroy this. There you go. And then, oh no, he still can't activate. Okay, cool. Um, Do that lose hand destruction? Oh man. I'll have to wait till next turn. Yeah. But next turn we definitely, definitely win. So that'll be five and then yeah. Okay, we got it. So next turn he shouldn't be able to draw if this all goes to plan. So we go. Or maybe not. Just wanna. Oh, dude, get rid of something. I have to activate it now. Alright. Oh well. Right, so we're in the lead of having uh, more cards in our deck, but that's probably where it ends now. So then I want to activ activate another card destruction, then he'll draw, and he couldn't draw, and then we win. But he can't do anything, I can't do anything. So I guess we just we just wait. <laughs> wait a few turns and it's all over. Ah, oh, dude. So remember like Yugi's like just he just keeps in the infinite loop of drawing cards and then just because Yugi sets something up, I think, I think Yugi takes his um Oh, he's getting his own slifer. Takes uh, his Revival jam, so it just keeps getting attack and attack and attacking. And how much attacks it got? Six thousand. Oh, okay. Attacking that, yeah, okay. Magic cylinder boy. Uh, yep. Take that six k. <laughs> oh man, so worth it. Oh, card destruction. Uh. So if we just set, activate this, and next turn he can't draw. I think he'll lose now because he can't actually draw now. Yeah, so he couldn't draw cards because of the effect of card destruction. <laughs> we win, boy! Made him deck out. I win. It's over. It can't be. How can I lose with an Egyptian god card in my deck? Your pay. You may have defeated Slifer, but I hold a, another Egyptian god card, much more powerful one. So savor this victory while you can, for it will be your last. Hey, All right, so it's uh, Yugi vs Bakura? I don't remember this. It is now time for the Battle City Tournament Finals. Hey look, Joey, Yugi, and Mai. Check it out, we all got six locator cards. 
Kaibajou and Yugi and Mai were the first four duelists to reach the finals. The fifth finalist soon arrived. Hey, wait, we're not going to do the um, the duel of like, Yugi vs Joey when like Joey's mind controlled and stuff? That was a good duel, I remember that. I think like the loser gets like dragged down to the bottom of the ocean or something. It's kind of kind of dark, man, Yu-Gi-Oh. It was Merrick using the fake name Namu. Oh, okay. He befriended Taya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling into place. Yugi, meet our friend at Namu. I've heard about you, Yugi. It's an honor to meet you. Any friend of Joey and Taya is a buddy of mine. I'm so happy to be surrounded by such a welcoming crowd. Just hope everyone I meet tonight is as friendly as you people. Hey, it's Bakura. What's he doing here? What are you doing wearing a dual disc? How else could I win six located cards and enter the finals? Rewind a sec. When did you join the tournament? Join? How'd you make it all the way to the finals? Oof. Ow. Bit, bit mean. Look at his face, he's like, <laughs> surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> the seventh finalist arrived just in time for Bakura to change the topic. Hey look, it's the seventh finalist. This guy looks familiar. That's a mug you don't forget. State your name. I am Marek. Marek's henchman, Odeon, assumed Marek's name to hide Marek's true identity. It was all part of Marek's plan. I think, wasn't this dude like really nice or something? Like he sacrificed himself to save Marek or something like that. I'll kick your brainwashing keister. You're no match for me, fool. The only reason I'm not tossing you out by your cape right now is so I can save my energy to take you down in the finals. Got that, pal? I think I scared him, Yugi. Or Yugi. Now that seven of the eight finalists arrived, Kaiba announced that even though their located cards led them to this location, it wasn't the site of the Battle City finals. At that moment, Kaiba's blimp arrived. Once they were aboard, it was time for the first duel between Yugi and Bakura. Yugi knew there was something not right with Bakura. I know that's not Bakura. It's the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring. I bet he's still after the seven Millennium items. This duel is going to be tougher than everyone thinks. I must win this. The fate of the world depends on it. Are you prepared to lose it all? Ooh, why all the fuss? What's around Bakura's neck? Now, maybe it's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakura. You see, Yugi and Bakura both have these real old objects that have magic powers. <laughs> I love the way when Joey explain things. Yugi's item is good, but Bakura's item is bad. Because an evil spirit lives inside it. So you're telling me there's an evil spirit up there dueling Yugi? That's hard to believe. <laughs> the team had no idea that Nami was actually Marek, but the evil spirit possessing Bakura was working for him. Now the introductions are over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? Oh, I remember this. This Bakura uses the um the final cards, like the um you know you spell out final, it's like Exodia but spell and trap. Ah oh, dude, I remember now. Alright, this is gonna be a tough duel, because if he gets all of the uh the message board out, then or Des I think it's Destiny Board, isn't it? Destiny Board F I N A L. Either way, it's going to be pretty tough. Ooh. The field's the blimp. This is sweet. Right. Uh, Crystal Charity. Cool. Right, I'm going to wait for card destruction. So I want to make sure he's got a bit more cards in hand to try and get rid of, like, some of the, uh, the letters. Right. Uh... Let's set Gamma. And then set Magical Hats. And we good. Oh, there it is. It began. Oh wait, what is it from the deck? Opponent's end phase, place one spirit message card from your hand or deck in your spell. Oh, okay. This is bad. Okay, so in three turns we lose. Right, uh... This is gonna be difficult. Right, so what we'll do is we summon Dark Magician Girl. Give her the magic formula. So I'll put her attack to 2-7. Card destruction. We'll put Dark Magician in the graveyard, put her attack to 3k. And hopefully we can just draw something that would be very helpful. Or well, two cards, anyway. Oh, okay. Well, that definitely helps. Definitely, definitely helps. Wait, what? What? Alright, so we're back. 
after that error message, which is super annoying because um, I had the great combo, man. I was about to go in and destroy him, but now uh, gotta just do this. So let's set you, set these two. And yeah, that will do. I'm never gonna look as, as good as a hand eye as I did just that last game. Oh, does he want to attack me? That would be great. He does. Haha, <laughs> take that 300. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Dark Magician Girl. Nightmare Steel Cage, great. And that's gonna be the F, isn't it? 100%. Oh, dude. He's going to have to on our end phase, but oh, if I had that turn sooner, what to do, what to do, uh, just going to wait a little bit, because he can still attack me, I'm hope, I think, with Nightmare Steel Cage, right? So I think he attacks me, take that little bit of damage. Oh, Sangan, okay. Oh, it was an F, just realized. Sick, so we can, um, when he activates it, we can negate it. That's actually so good. All right, I am down. Just building up our, oh, uh, hey, hey, I don't think so. I don't think so, boy. Get out of here with that. <laughs> That's one um, F done. Soon he has three of them in the deck, so. Yeah. This is good. In before he draws another one. <laughs> oh. It's going to attack me. Uh, yeah, you can take that 100 damage, I don't mind. Left Sang in attack mode as well. Oh, no, never mind. Take that back. My Dark Magician, sweet. Right, so let's get you out. Wait, yes, I want a tribute. I want to get rid of our Gamma and our Feralimp. We can because last time I had Dark Magician and Dark Magician got on the field. Got the error message. <laughs> oh, almost a battle phase. Got to put you to attack first. Alright, so let's do some damage. 1200 will be nice. Oh, nope. No! Sorry. Oh. Oh, he's, it makes him attack. Okay. I thought you made me, um,. I thought you made Dark Magician attack beta then. I was going to say that sucks. Alright, you want to keep it hanging on the field as long as possible because it lets him search for something. Don't know what they get. Remember like when I used Sangan, I think... Definitely used, used, to, used to use them for Summon Skull, but... Might use them for Tour Guide, I think? Used to love Tour Guide, man. Uh, Swords are revealing light, I want to see what that is. Okay, uh, we are gonna... She's gonna keep that for a little bit. For a reason you'll see. Get the sang in now, let you get your little search. That's the thing, that's the reason why I wanted to keep Dark Magician Girl, just in case it gets that stupid thing. Which you'll see what it does when he activates it. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, can't do anything with that, which kind of sucks. Right, that's probably going to be the F. Hey, let's go! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Let's... Set. We can't attack, so... Well, can't destroy the Necrofear. We can attack this thing. But you didn't, I don't know why he didn't normal summon it. Like, he normal summoned it. Targets Dark Magician, then... I guess because we could attack for 2,000. Yeah. There's the F. This is bad. I need, like, magic formula just to get the... My attack up. I can get Dark Magician go to 2,300. I want to tribute. This is not going great. Oh, that's just won us the game. Right. Flip. Not that his hand, why not? Just in case something goes wrong. Dark magician go. Should be this. Just don't, please don't break the game again. Okay, we good? I think we're good. Why can't I activate this? One? I honestly can't see why I can't activate this. I want to brain control the Necrofear. What have I done wrong? Why can't I... Okay. Don't see why I can't do that yet. Confused? Uh, yeah, I'm actually so confused. I guess I just gotta end turn, then maybe we can activate brain control next turn? I don't know why that wouldn't let me activate it. Like, I'm actually, so confused. Well, that definitely helps. Can I beat you now? No. There is something that's stopping me activating it. It's not... Okay, during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it's dropped by opponent's card effect this turn, sent to your graveyard, okay. Uh, While well, this card is equipped to a monster. Yeah, so that's not stopping us. Is it this? I... Does anyone... If anyone could let me know why I can't activate brain control, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Like, you can take control of my Dark Magician as well, which I don't mind. Because when he attacks me, I just magic cylinder and win. <laughs> Alright, so... Get rid of this stupid thing. I got us how Dark Magician, just in case it's that stupid thing with 2,000 defense. But I bet it's not. 
Oh, it is. Sweet. Then we attack for 3,500. All right, end turn. Okay, so he equips to Dark Magician, takes control of it, which sucks. You get a board, but it stops you from attacking, and we need to just... Right, this is fine. Take your 3,200. Like, if we can bring Control of Dark Magician back, that would be great, but I don't know if it's going to let us. I'll have to set it and just try and activate it then, see if that works. Oh, now, yeah, now it lets us activate it, okay. So, um, we win? So I'm guessing, like, we just can't take control of Necrofear for whatever reason. Let's make sure we kill it. No, I don't activate anything. And then let's win. Oh my goodness, please don't error me out. <laughs> Yay, we win. He almost won though. Bakura, you okay? Hey, where am I? You're with your friends now, Bakura. I'm glad Bakura's okay. The Millennium Ring is a lot, a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so it can exist. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against its will, it seems, it's, it seems to still need Bakura to, in order to survive. But there is one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that? The spirit inside my item is my friend. And you and I are always there to support each other no matter what comes our way. <laughs> this is where Yummy's like, ooh, awkward. Um, <laughs> you were there to help me when my grandfather was in trouble. And now I'm here to help you rescue the world from evil. I promise that together, we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past and how to unlock your hidden powers before Merrick can take them. Because your destiny is mine too. We're gonna win. That's right. This was a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork and the heart of the cards, we came out on top. Now we're heading for round two. We're gonna take it all the way. Who does he duel in? It's mine in round two, isn't it? Because Joey duels Merrick for round two, I think. While well, everyone waited for the next duel to begin, Yugi returned to his room to rest. He was suddenly surprised by a man in robes who, was also, who also wore a turban. His name was Shaddy, and he explained that he had come to provide Yugi guidance for the challenges that lay ahead. I am the guardian of the seven millennium items. I am here because I sense a disturbance in the mystic alignment once again. All seven items are on board this vessel, as well as the Egyptian god cards, which means all the objects capable of saving and destroying the world are right here. Really? The Earth's safety rests with you, Yugi. Heed my words. If the wrong individuals were to gain control of any of the Millennium items or one of the Egyptian God cards, the result could be catastrophic. It nearly happened once before when Pegasus created dual monsters. It did, but how? It all began when Max Maximilian Pegasus first arrived in Egypt. He was searching for a method of reuniting with his lost love. His quest brought him to me, and I presented him with the Millennium Eye, for he was destined to possess it. Soon after, he discovered the origins of ancient Egyptian shadow games. Pixis became obsessed with these games and decided to dedicate his life to recreating them. During one of his early research trips to the ancient pyramids, Pixis planned to locate the stones depicting the Egyptian god monsters that he read about. So I guided Pegasus and his team of archaeologists to the underground chamber hidden beneath the desert, desert sands. And after travelling by foot for hours, our journey was over. Pegasus entered the dimly lit chamber. As promised, I brought him to the ancient resting place of the Egyptian god tablets. Pegasus found what he came for never knowing he was about to unleash a devastating force like no other. Triumphant, Pegasus returned to America to design his cards based upon the images he found on the stones. He was destined to awaken the Egyptian god monsters, but he was not destined to control their powerful magic. Although Maximilian Pegasus completed the prototypes of the three Egyptian god cards, he immediately flew to Egypt to seal them in the tomb alongside the original carvings and spare the world their absolute power. And with the help of Ishizu, Pegasus sealed away the cards. Then Marek tried to steal them? Yes. And if he were to get his hands on all three, the results would be devastating. I can assure you Marek will never hold all three Egyptian god cards. My pharaoh, it is an honour for me to be in, the, in your presence once again. Know that you will restore order to the world and put an end to the chaos just as you did 5,000 years ago. My complete faith lies in you. 
At that moment, the speaker announced all finalists must return to the main uh, concourse and Shadi vanished. The second door was between Merrick and Joey. Since Ode uh, Odeon was pretending to be Merrick, Odeon stood before Joey, ready to duel. Let's do this, Merrick. It's time to duel and destroy you. Prepare for defeat. Don't count on it, Merrick. I ain't scared of you. Can't remember what deck this dude uses. Doesn't use like the Millennium Scorpion, does he? I think he might do, but. Alright, so I just got wrecked by um, Odeon. Just, uh, he has a trap card deck. I should have beat him. I had this plan, and then I just went giant true nade and he went magic jammer and just, um, yeah, that was that was kind of bad. Alright, so let's go for Crystal Charity. Sweet, that's that's great. So good. Gonna set this. Set this. And then let's end our turn. Oh, dude. I'm so annoyed. I should have beat him. It was such a long duel and I was thinking, this is a good like I would have kept the duel in, but it was just it was just too long. And yeah. Oh, okay. He's not gonna attack. He's probably gonna try and attack, isn't he? Yep, no reason not to, so I need to try and keep this dude alive. Yes! Just. Just. Okay, that was good. Right, so I am going to reset this. And if we summon this. And then we change to attack, and then I think this works if we do this. We attack, we'll take 100 damage. Okay. There's no point anymore, because he's just going to summon it back. So that's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, dude, you have to summon it back. Right, let's do a tiki thing. We're going to attack it, take the 100 damage, that I live, but he loses 500 attack, and I attack again and kill it. Oh, dude. Just got his free trap card monsters out. I need to try, like, if he's. If I um, draw a giant truning, I need to try and bait out the magic jammer. Okay, he's got another one, great. Taking so much damage. I hate these trap cards so much. Oh, Jinzo, okay. Okay. Right, so, uh... Monster Reborn. Just get an even. Hey, trap cards. I know you when you're a monster here, you still count as a trap card due to your effect. So, um, have you met my good pal Jinzo? Because my, my good pal Jinzo is actually quite a, quite a decent guy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right, battle phase. Get out of here. Dude, we just turn this door around. Let's go. If he draws the scorpion, dude, though, then we're gonna be in trouble. So we knew he drew the um, swamp monster there, which is gonna be the swamp monster most likely. And now, okay, what trap card are you gonna add to the top of your deck? Magic jammer. Oh wow. Yeah. Can't wait for you to use that. <laughs> And you got this nice little cat I can attack. Oh, dude. Jinzo just saves the day. What does Fairy Box do? 
I remember having this card, like, I used to sort of think these little whack-a-mole things look like Diglett from Pokemon. Uh, right. Set that. Can't do anything, but let's just attack you for a nice 1-9. Uh, Sweet. Well, this is just, uh, absolutely perfect. You can't activate any spell or traps. Like, I mean, he's just stuck, isn't he? If he draws the scorpion, what's he going to do? Nothing. So we'll just, uh... Attack. And next turn, we probably win. Jinzo too good! Jinzo way too good, dude. Come on, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Absolutely nothing, boy. <laughs> oh, Jinzo. Love you, dude. Absolutely love you. And then we win. Woo! <laughs> Odeon's deck contained a copy of an Egyptian god card. This angered the gods. So lightning struck Joey and Odeon. Send them to the mat? Master Merrick, I'm not worthy enough to control this card. Just as I was, as I was not worthy enough to be part of your family. Odeon! I tried my best to serve you, my master. I tried. Odeon dedicated his life to protecting Merrick by containing the evil within Merrick. But with Odeon weakened, his control over the evil was losing his strength. Please forgive me, Joey. I'm sorry. It was an honor to do you. Well, same to you. And thanks to the lightning bolt, I won't forget this duel for a while. And now that that's done, you gotta come clean. If you're not Merrick, then who are you? I'm only a servant of the real Master Merrick. Admit your true identity, Merrick. Yes, it's true. I'm indeed the real Merrick, you fools. So Namu lied to us all along? Namu? He was a disguise to get me closer to Yugi. So Pharaoh, we finally meet face to face. Now at last, I can finish a job my pathetic servants couldn't. Yugi, your puzzle and peril will soon be where they belong. Oh no, I was afraid of this. We're all in great danger. The great evil hidden within Master Merrick has a darker side. I'm unable to contain it anymore. It's too late now. He looks so cool, that cape as well. Merrick, what's going on? I'm finally free again, which means I can do things my way. I was restrained for many years by that fool Odeon. Who are you? I'm the true Merrick. I'm not as kind as the one you've come to know. As soon as I finished the job, he couldn't com uh, complete and strip you of your powers. Hey. So we got Kaiba versus Shizu. Oh, nice. The next duel was Mai versus the real Merrick. Mai gave everything she had, but Merrick was too powerful. In the power of the, his Millennium Rod, Merrick trapped Mai's mind in the Shadow Realm. Your friend made a costly mistake by dueling against me. Now, I'm afraid she's paying the ultimate price. Notice her emotionless appearance. That's because her mind is trapped. For each passing second, she forgets more. The shadows are taking everything. Everything she kept inside her mind and inside her heart. Trapped by dark magic, Mai's friends could do nothing to help her. Alright, you geeks. Clear the field for the next duel. <laughs> Call up Kaiba. The next duel was Seto Kaiba versus Ashizu Ish Ishtar. The same Ashizu who Yugi and Teya met at the museum. She was the mysterious 8th finalist. This is quite a surprise. Yes, we meet again, Seto Kaiba. So you've come to win back Obelisk. What I've come for is of greater importance. I've come here to save my brother. Brother? Yes, for the past 5,000 years, and Ishtar has stood guard over the Pharaoh's tomb. Only Marek turned against us. And the evil within him is even stronger now. If you remember, my Millennium Necklace has the power to show me events that are yet to come. And right now, it tells me you will lose this duel to me. Enough with the Millennium items. I don't believe in that nonsense. I planned this with one goal in mind. To reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Have you forgotten you, Have you forgotten that it was my idea for you to organise the Battle City Tournament? To lure duelists like Merrick? My plan worked. For my brother is here. But the hardest task is yet to come. The evil within him must be stopped. I'm surrounded by super, uh, superstitious nitwits. Take your hocus pocus nonsense to someone else's tournament. My Millennium Necklace predicts that your lack of faith will be your downfall. Oh, Ishizu, how wrong you were. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so what have we got? Okay. Uh, I don't remember what she plays. And... I think Kaiba summons Obelisk? 
What do we even do here? Um, tribute any number of monsters except tokens your opponent sends an equal number of spells from their deck to the graveyard. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Or all, all their spells, if lower than the number of tributes. Right, uh... Let's... Activate Thunder Dragon. Get two to hand, just to thin the deck out a little bit. Then... We probably want to... Soul Exchange? And then we'll set this. I don't ever want to use this trap to be honest, but I guess we end. Not sure this is good or not, but oh, okay. Just trying to thin her deck out as well. Oh, what? You can almost send this card with tribute, and if you do the during the end phase, send it to the graveyard. Oh, dude. That's actually so annoying. Of course, she has one card to get from a 2000 defense. I hate you, Shizu. Ooh, Lord of D. Do you think we can get um, Flute of Summoning Dragon? Could be pretty good. So we just attack for 1-6. Do a little bit of damage. Better than none, you know? Alright, when this card is destroyed, it's the grave. Okay, you're going to power it up to 1-7. Great. And you're going to gain 100 life points. Sweet! Okay. Kai, I've got to say, I'm not liking your deck at the moment, dude. Take that back. I'm liking your deck right now. <laughs> Force Raider Boy. Put it in that battle phase. Take you out. So you're going to add two monsters in my deck. Add them to my... Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just, uh... Oh, I don't want to activate that. Just do the same thing, just, uh... There you go, find the dragon. That's back in the graveyard, that's back in my hand. We're back to square one. The only thing you did is put that 2000 defense thing in my deck, which is fine, because I can just summon it again. Well, I probably won't summon it because it's a bit terrible, but... Oh, why would Kyber play that? It's just a terrible card. Okay, one face down, or two face down, one set, one back row. Silent Doom. Oh, dude, if we just still had that. Right, what I could do though is summon Lord of D. A bit risky. Just double check, it's like. Yeah, okay. And then Force Raider attack, and then Lord of D attack directly. Oh, okay. What a plan! You just had that from the uh, you got that from the movie pack, don't you? For the um, the first po uh, Pokemon movie, past Yu-Gi-Oh movie, uh, Pyramid of Light. That was a good movie, dude. I remember like I saw it like three times in the cinema to try and get the packs to get all the cards, but I had I had one dude. Because I don't know if like the Yu-Gi-Oh movie when I went to go see it in the cinema as a kid was like just not popular at all. But one guy at the till, whoever you are, shout out to you. He was like, "Do you want more packs?" And he just gave me like, I think they gave me, like five or six packs. Still didn't pull what I wanted, but it was still yeah, nice that dude. Some people are just real bros, you know. Need more people like that in the world. <laughs> right. Let's now attack this. I should check, like, my fusion isn't something for Thunder Dragons and just... Ah, oh, dude. It's kind of 
annoying, but uh, yeah, it still applies armor. <laughs> tank one two, and then tank one six. Next turn, summon Force Raider again, and then we good, and then we win. Hey, actually, I don't know. Depends if she summons a monster to destroy my uh, one of mine. But we can like draw a flute of summoning dragon. Everything is good. Oh my god! I take it back. We're probably not gonna win. Seriously, you have. Dude! That's so good, that card! Um. The only thing I can think of doing right now is if I change this to defense. And then I summon this. Hoping she'll attack Force Raider. If she doesn't summon another monster, we're fine. Please, that's another monster. No! Oh, that's not good. This is so bad, this is so bad, this is so bad. I don't know what to do. I can get this. Attack. You lose 800, but then... Wait, type one was on the field return of that title. Okay, mmm, should just summon it again. And I kill that, it's gonna get stronger. I think I lose. Oh, honestly, I think I lose. This sucks. I don't think I can do anything. That that card is so broken. For like a four star. Yeah, fairy deck. Damn. Like. Don't want to play that, no. Um. Just pass back to make this. I don't want to activate that. No, I don't want to activate this. End phase. Not that one. Right, I just... Oh my god, seriously. Oh. Sick. Sick. Why did you not attack? Why did she not? If we... There's gotta be a way we can win this. This card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Type one was on the field and return to the target's hand. So if we attack that, we lose. But then we'll take... Take damage. If it inflicts bad damage to your opponent, gain... Then they'll gain, um... 1,200, so she'll be on 2,300. Have we got anything that can... In the graveyard has more than 2,300 attack?
Wait, was that 2,400? We can win. Right? Please say this math is correct. We might just be able to win. Wait, let me double check one thing. Yes, in your graveyard. Good. There's both graveyards. Whew. Right, so we get this. And then we're going to battle phase. Oh, and you get a little bit less attack now as well. So we attack this. We take damage. You get that life point back. But you can return to your hand. And then we win. Oh my god, we did it. Just wait. Yes, we just did it, dude. Oh my goodness, that was tough. <laughs> Victory is mine. Very impressive, Kaiba. You managed to overcome the fate that millennium that my millennium necklace showed me. I won this duel for the same reasons I'll win this tournament. My superior skills and intelligence. Perhaps. But you taught me a valuable lesson about the nature of destiny. And for that, I am grateful. May have lost the duel, but in the process I've gained something of far greater importance. The realization that if I am to win this battle for my brother's spirit, I will need your help, Kaiba. Thank you, for I know you will help me save my brother. Hmm, <laughs> believe whatever you need to, Ishizu, but I'm only in this for myself. Hey, alright. Whew, so we have done like what, one, two, three, four. I think we'll do, end this episode off with the clash in the Colosseum, and then in the next episode we'll do the finale of Battle City. More and more fell to the power of Merrick. Merrick dual Bakura for the Millennium Ring on one. It was now time for the semi-finals. The first match was Joey vs Merrick. Merrick's power was so great that the winged dragon Arras sent Joey to the hospital. It seemed nothing could stop Merrick's reign terror, but Joey won that duel, dude. He won. <laughs> Just a bit unfair, you know? Second semi-final would determine who would face off against Merrick. It was Yugi vs Kaiba, fighting for the first time since their battle in Duelist Kingdom. Yugi, we mustn't let Joey's struggle interfere with our concentration. Remember, in order to overcome Merrick, we must get past Kaiba. Well, well, Yugi. So you decide to show up after all? Of course. To miss this duel is to deny my destiny. Spare me the drama. Someone at the nerd herd show up to cheer you on. They're too busy trying to wake Wheeler up from his nap. Joe is a great deal of danger now. More than you could ever know. Wheeler shouldn't be shouldn't have been here in the first place. I want him not to play with the big boys. If you ask me, he just got what he deserved. A slap in the face by Ra. If getting attacked by an Egyptian god card didn't knock any sense into that kid, then nothing will. That's enough, Kaiba. You have no idea how dangerous this Duel Monsters tournament of yours has become. The outcome of the Battle City Finals could put the whole world at risk. The only one at risk is you, for once I win, you won't be number one. Kaiba, it's not always about being number one. It's about dueling with bravery, honour and respect. Most importantly, putting the needs of others ahead of your own. And that's something Joey Wheeler did every day of his life. Yugi, in ancient times, Roman gladiators would battle for their doom in order to prove who was the strongest. Now it's our turn to see which one of us deserves to call himself the greatest in the world. The Goat Man. So, draw your first card and let's uh, let the battle begin. With pleasure, Kaiba. I'm ready. Aw, oh, dude. Alright, what we got? Ooh! Got two Slifers, great. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to not... Summon King's Knight in case we can draw Queen's Knight. So I'm just gonna end turn. Bit risky, I know, but. Oh, Polly straight off the bat. He did not draw three blue eyes in the first turn. Oh, what a cheat! What? Okay. I'm so glad Sword's up. Oh, well, that just makes everything so much better. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to summon this. I'm going to try to get Slifer out. I might as well, you know. I can't believe he had three blue eyes and a poly first turn, dude. Actually, nuts. Kyber is such a cheat. 
Uh, decide one spell card and type one spell card in your opponent's graveyard. Place the target in the appropriate zone on your side of the field and disaffect the position for the card takes. Okay, yeah, don't want to do that because Poly for Poly does not sound great. Do these are monster cards, man, to actually just get rid of a tribute? Oh, sick! That's not good. So that stupid X head's gonna stay alive. Yeah, just brick me even more, dude. Brick me even more. Still the same, like. Boy, this is annoying. At least we can get rid of the Blue Eyes Ultimate. Okay. Luckily, Mirror Force does not target. Oh my god. Yep. Hey, Kaiba. Mirror Force. <laughs> oh, dude. Still take 200 though, but it's better than what I would have taken. Exchange. Oh my god. What is the one card in your hand? Taking it. Cost down. Oh, dude. Yeah, of course you take Slifer. Go on, take, take that. It's gonna be fine. I think it's a five star. I still can't do anything. Oh, dude. This is so annoying. Dude, we know you've got Slifer in hand. It's just. Great. It's just Polly. Like, what is up with this brick of a hand, dude? Kaiba gets Blue Eyes Ultimate out first turn and I brick. Polly Oh, of course you get Polly Greed. That's, that's just great. Oh, sweet. Like, I just need a monster that I can summon. And at least has 1,800 attack or defense. I will take either. Oh my god, okay. King's Knight, great. We need to just let... We need to try and get him to live, like... Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Alright, here we go. Oh, dude, are you serious? He's just got my Slifer out. <laughs> or his Obelisk. Yep, his Obelisk. Great. <laughs> what is going on, dude? Oh, wait. Do you not beat Obelisk? Blue Eyes Armor Dragon! Let's go! Oh, sick! Oh, dude. Get wrecked, boy. Oh, my God. Let's go! This is the greatest duel in history. Oh my god! The comeback is real! The actual comeback is real. Oh, change of heart as well. Let's go. Kai, but I feel, I feel so sorry for you, dude. I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> oh my god, that Monster Reborn was a top deck and a half. It's gonna change it hard that and win. Oh, what's this? Change your heart. Taking that. It's a Lord of D. Yep. See you, Kaiba. Get absolutely wrecked. Oh my god. You lose, Kaiba. I told you your hatred and your lust for power would never prevail. How did it? My, but my toughest battle is still ahead. Oof. Sucks for Kaiba. <laughs> when I face Merrick in the final duel. Hey. Oh my god. So next episode, we are going to finish off Battle City with a duel against Merrick. Oh man, that Kaiba duel was the greatest duel ever. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.